What do teeth and joints have in common? Both are vulnerable to wear and tear over time. But unlike teeth, joints have a unique ability to regenerate on their own. This natural regeneration of cartilage and bone occurs in response to inflammation, injury, and even aging. So, why do some people move with ease while others suffer from stiff, painful joints? The answer might surprise you. The secret to joint recovery is simpler than you think. And that's exactly what we'll be uncovering in today's video. We'll explore how to restore joint health without relying on medication. Can certain oils really help alleviate joint pain? Is bone broth effective in regenerating cartilage? Or is that just a myth? Does ginger actually reduce joint inflammation? Should you use cold or heat for sore joints? What can children learn to protect their joints? And what are the best ways to preserve joint health over time? Plus, an orthopedic trauma doctor with 30 years of experience will explain why working with muscles is essential for managing joint pain and reveal the key secret to effective joint treatment. Why do joints become stiff as we age? Joints are protected by cartilage and lubricated by synovial fluid which cushion and support smooth movement. Over time, cartilage wears down and the synovial fluid thickens, leading to reduced mobility and increased discomfort. Interestingly, the pain originates from the bones, which have nerve endings and receptors, not from the cartilage itself. Inflammation can aggravate these nerves, resulting in pain and stiffness. What causes joint pain? Joint pain can stem from several factors such as vitamin deficiencies, gout, or wear and tear. For many, it's primarily due to joint degeneration. Understanding the nature of joint pain is key. Pain during movement often signals arthritis, while pain at rest points to inflammation. Morning stiffness is also common with inflammation, typically improving with movement. When it comes to relief, there's a choice between quick fixes and long-term solutions. While some opt for strong medications for immediate relief, a more effective approach involves decompressing joints, incorporating anti-inflammatory exercises, and following an anti-inflammatory diet. How can you relieve joint pain? Joint issues can be caused by aging, injuries, inactivity, or excess weight. Losing weight helps reduce pressure on the joints. For hand pain, avoid lifting heavy items. For knee or hip pain, minimize sudden movements and opt for cushioned shoes. Use support when standing up and consider low-impact exercises like swimming. Movement is key staying inactive can worsen joint problems. Physical activity promotes the production of synovial fluid, essential for joint lubrication. It also strengthens muscles around the joints, reducing strain and improving mobility. Moderate exercise, which can easily be done at home, is highly beneficial for joint health. Osteoarthritis versus arthritis. Arthritis is characterized by joint inflammation, often causing pain even at rest, while osteoarthritis is caused by cartilage wear, leading to pain after activity. These conditions require distinct approaches to treatment. After hearing from the expert, I've come to realize that we often neglect our joints until the pain begins. However, joints provide warning signs beforehand. Here are some symptoms you should never ignore. Morning stiffness. If your joints feel stiff and difficult to move in the morning, but improve with activity, it could signal changes in your connective tissue or bones. Burning sensation. A burning feeling in a joint, especially if it's red and warm, is often a sign of inflammation. If the burning occurs without redness or heat, it may indicate osteoarthritis. Restricted movement. Struggling to fully bend your knee, grasp a key, or lift your leg onto a step are important warning signs of joint problems. Creaky joints. Joints sometimes creak due to a lack of joint fluid, causing friction between surfaces and wearing down cartilage. However, creaking can also occur in healthy joints due to pressure changes or gas bubbles popping in the joint fluid. It's generally normal if there's no pain and movement isn't restricted. Weather sensitivity. Some people experience increased joint pain or discomfort before it rains, a phenomenon known as weather sensitivity. Though not fully understood, it's believed there's a link between joint pain and changes in weather, especially cold. Joints often ache more in winter 
because the body reduces blood flow to the extremities to keep vital organs warm, leading to discomfort in areas like the knees and hands. Cold weather also thickens joint fluid, so it's important to keep your joints warm. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's best to consult a healthcare expert for advice. Essential foods for joint health. The right foods can play a vital role in restoring and nourishing your joints. Fatty fish like salmon, sardines, mackerel, and cod are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which help reduce inflammation and support joint health. Omega-3s keep the cartilage, the smooth tissue in your joints, flexible, making movement easier. However, omega-3s aren't the only important nutrients for joint care. In addition to fish, include walnuts, almonds, and flax seeds in your diet for their essential fatty acids and joint-supporting nutrients. Also, incorporate anti-inflammatory foods like blueberries, pomegranates, red bell peppers, broccoli, and spinach into your meals. These foods help reduce joint inflammation and promote overall joint health. Protein is crucial for joint repair, as it's a fundamental building block of the body. Be sure to include a variety of protein sources like meat, fish, eggs, and plant-based options such as beans and peas in your diet. Additionally, don't overlook collagen-rich foods like aspic, jellied meats, bone broths, beef, fish, and seafood. Collagen, a protein found in tendons, cartilage, and bones, helps cushion impacts and reduce friction in the joints. However, collagen levels naturally decline with age, which can lead to reduced flexibility. Consuming collagen-rich foods can help support and maintain joint health. To combat joint inflammation, incorporate anti-inflammatory foods into your meals, such as turmeric, ginger, garlic, and onions. These foods have potent anti-inflammatory properties and can help manage inflammation when consumed regularly. While cartilage regeneration slows down with age, it doesn't stop completely. You can slow cartilage breakdown and even support its recovery with simple, affordable remedies. Gelatin. Gelatine is a natural protein that helps strengthen cartilage and connective tissues. To use it effectively, follow this simple method. In the evening, mix two tablespoons of gelatin with one third glass of cold water. Let it sit overnight. In the morning, add warm water to fill the glass and drink it on an empty stomach. Do this daily for one month. Then take a month off and repeat the cycle. This method helps provide your joints with collagen, supporting joint health. While there are many expensive supplements available, gelatin is a cost-effective option that you can easily find in any grocery store. Home Remedies for Joint Pain To alleviate joint pain and inflammation, try this simple homemade compress using aloe vera and honey. Mix 1 4th cup of aloe juice, 1 4th cup of honey, and 1 4th cup of warm water. Slightly heat the mixture, apply it to the painful joint, cover it with plastic wrap, and leave it on overnight for relief. Another traditional remedy for joint pain is pepper oil. Red pepper contains capsaicin, which has a warming effect, blocks pain signals, and improves blood circulation. To make pepper oil at home, take 10 fresh red peppers, wash and grind them, then mix with two cups of vegetable oil. Let the mixture sit in a warm place for a week. Afterward, strain the oil and use it to massage sore joints during flare-ups. Avoid using this remedy if you have a fever, 